This is chapter 5 loops, programming exercise 15. Display the ASCII character table. Write a program that prints the characters in the ASCII character table from exclamation mark to tilde. Display 10 characters per line. So, before we do that, let's ask the question, what is the ASCII table? Well, ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Computers can only understand numbers, so an ASCII code is a numerical representation of a character such as the lowercase a or at symbol or an action of some sort. It's a 7-bit character code where every single bit represents a unique character. Java actually uses Unicode, which includes ASCII and other characters from languages around the world. All right, so let's take a look at this ASCII table, which goes from decimal value 0 all the way to 127. And each decimal value represents a different character. So 0 represents no, the no value. 32 represents space. 64 represents the at symbol, all right? And then if we were go all the way down, 127 represents the delete and 126 is the tilt key. All right, so each decimal has their own hex value, octagonal value, and character value. And what we want to do is to be able to display the ASCII character from exclamation mark to the tilt key. And we'll take a look. The exclamation mark, the character decimal value for that is 33. And if we were to go all the way down the tilt key, the decimal value for that is 126. All right, so let's tackle that in our exercise. So we're going to use byte, let's call it ASCII, and let's start at 33. As long as ASCII is less than 127, ASCII plus plus. Now, here's the thing, right? If we were going to print it out, print out ASCII, the decimal value, you're not going to get the character value. All you're going to get is the number from 33 all the way to 126. And just to verify, our exclamation mark is 33 and tilt key is 126. To actually get the character of these decimal values, what we're going to have to do is to cast this uh, byte to char. And by casting it, we're asking Java to grab us the character value of the decimal, which now we got the exclamation mark and just to verify the tilde. Now, next thing we want to do is to do 10 per line, which is the simple part, right? So let's call this, let's create a variable called line counter and initialize it to zero. We'll do a little check. If plus plus, so pre uh, uh, pre-increment line counter. So now it's one. As long as one modded by 10 equals zero, then we will print a new line. So this gets printed uh, every time line counter is mod modded by 10 equals zero. So when it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right? So it prints a new line and we increment by one. So it starts at zero. We don't want to print a new line right away because zero modded by 10 is also 10. So we want to increment it by one. Uh, now it's one modded by 10 equals zero for the first run all the way to the end. So let's take a look. Run that and here we go. Now we got the ASCII characters of uh, from 33 to 126 exclamation mark all the way to the tilt character. All right, let's see, we have all of that. Yep, so we pretty much have all of this. So as you can see in the middle, we have our alphabet. And just to show you, the alphabet is pretty much in between the exclamation mark, right? Decimal value 65 is A, decimal value 97 is lowercase A, all the way to Z, 90 is uppercase Z, 122 is lowercase Z. All right, so that is pretty much it for this exercise.